Brett Hankins is taking a Halloween hike through the Indiana wilderness when he spots something lurking low to the ground in the brush below. At first, he isn't sure if it's just a native coyote, which doesn't bother him much because they usually tend to leave humans alone, but then he zooms in and realizes that this is probably a large wolf on the prowl, which is a different situation entirely. Wolf or not, watch how easily this animal blends into its natural surroundings. It would have been all too easy for Brett to have casually stumbled onto the predator's hiding spot by accident and by that time it's probably already too late to get away, and let's not forget if there's one nearby. There's probably a whole pack somewhere close. With that said, I'm not positive if this is a wolf or not, so maybe someone can help me decide. Sometimes you can just sense evil in places, sometimes in your very own home. Posted in the very spooky video subreddit by Big Daddy Marco, the Redditor writes that he is quarantined in a haunted house, Originally published to YouTube by Donnie Drunkard, he writes, Since being in quarantine, the paranormal and haunted activity has manifested in poltergeist activity on an almost daily basis. I believe the entity is demonic in nature. Terry explains that this is an update and recap of footage caught on his live stream. He also says that he thinks there's more than one spirit in his home. Using a paranormal tool that captures movement, the recap shows that something is indeed present in the hallway, and its presence is made known on more than one occasion. The kinetic image appears. In the last clip, he tells the thing to leave, and after a moment it does as he commands. Trespass against us. I'm shaking so bad right now, man. It disappears from the monitor. Some in the comments suggest that Terry get a demonologist into his home to take this thing on. What would you do if you sensed, heard, and saw a demonic spirit in your home? Would you stay or would you go? A redditor named Bunny Toes posted a really bizarre video on the Chills Narrator subreddit that's worth further analysis. She says she was deleting random videos taken by her young grandkids when she came across this strange moment in her old house, which she has since moved directly because of what you're about to see. Her grandchild innocently passes over a shadow figure standing at the foot of her bed. Bunny Toast says this happened a day before her mother-in-law's birthday, who used to live with them for six years and recently passed. She has no doubt that this is her mother-in-law visiting her from the other side. This could be a real ghost sighting, but you do see Bunny Toast at the beginning of this video, so it might have been her walking away. I guess I'm willing to believe her, because most people would recognize themselves on camera, and the uploader is adamant that the shadow figure in the video is simply not her. Joe Pacini is obsessed with a singer named Sarah Bareilles, and he believes their destiny is to be together forever. He makes a bizarre YouTube video ranting about how members of the occult, the CIA, and the FBI are all working together to frame him and keep this romance from happening. Clearly, clearly these guys want me dead or in prison, and there's no way I'm going back to prison. Nope. The video is hard to understand because of his disjointed, rambling logic, but apparently there was some kind of incident at the local gym, and now a police detective is calling Joe's number. Hello, my name is Matt Huffnell. I'm a detective with Haverford Township PD. I'm trying to reach Joe Pacini concerning an incident a report that was made at the LA Fitness here in Havertown. Joe, could you give me a call at your earliest convenience? This simple request sends Joe over the edge. Instead of calling the investigator back, Joe makes a series of YouTube videos threatening the investigator along with his entire department. You want to try to bring me down? I will kill you and your whole family, all right? So go ahead. Joe switches from calm and collected to yelling and screaming as he tells everyone to back off. He eventually calls the detective back and leaves a message telling him to check out his YouTube channel for more information. The police eventually find Joe driving around and immediately pull his vehicle over. According to their report, Joe backed his car into a cruiser and they took his life immediately. I was never able to find out what happened at the gym. So if you know why the police initially contacted him, then please let me know. When you're searching for ghosts, beware, you might just find one. 
posted by DNA TV in September of 2019. This video is not for the faint of heart. The description reads, Lexi returns with Dave to one of the most haunted and active locations we have ever visited. From the moment we arrived, things kicked off and didn't stop till we left. To this day, this is some of the most intense paranormal activity we have ever encountered. The gripping 25-minute video keeps you on the edge of your seat as the pair explore the abandoned site. They note that the place has been slashed up and destroyed since they last visited. At the end of the video, they hear some noises that cause them to freeze in place. They decide to go and have a look. Throughout the video, some in the comments note hearing voices of disembodied entities. At one point, they hear a footstep. Using an EVP, they ask the ghost if that was him walking next to Lexi. They get a yes from the ghost. If that was you, can you say yes? If you want to walk and talk with ghosts, this haunted site is a good place to start. When you're playing peekaboo with the paranormal, it's never a game. Posted to the ghost video subreddit by Podcast Africa, the clip shows an urban explorer walking through an abandoned house. As he walks down the corridor, he glances in a room to his left. There's a big empty window to the room beyond, and in that window this peeks out, a shadow person or a real one. The dark shadow ducks down quickly and the explorer hurries over into the next room and finds it completely empty. So who or what is playing around here, or are they even playing? This doll looks innocent enough, but is it? Molly, also known as Akka, is pure evil. Here is proof. The conversation starts out simple. One of the objects I've put near your vessel. Thank you. Thank you, Molly. When the paranormal investigator presses further, she receives a confirmation. Molly? Can you just confirm that this is you? Yeah. She also reveals her true feelings. Are you negative and grumpy? No. Are you misunderstood? Thank you. And then the question we'd really like to know the answer to... Do you wish to harm anyone in this house? Yes. But Molly doesn't just want to harm anyone. She's got a specific person in mind. Do you wish to harm my son, Sam? Yes. It's probably time to take your son Sam and get out of Dodge. A quarrel with a poltergeist has only one outcome, you lose. Published by Scary Desk in September of 2021, the computer shop owner is battling for his life. The man is seen on an upper balcony of his shop at night. It sounds like it's raining. He puts his hood on and heads back toward his shop, but the minute he steps toward the door, he is thrown onto his back, falling onto the ground. You see he appears to have been pushed by a shadowy force. A young man runs to his aid from an adjacent office. As the man points in fear, what did he see? The young man looks inside but finds nothing. He then helps the owner limp to safety. What did this to this poor man? And is it the end of it? Or is it just the beginning? When you reach the end of the road, you better just turn around. Otherwise, this can happen. Posted by TikToker Sharpski, the TikToker may have escaped something life-ending at the end of the road. In the clip, Sharpski is traveling down a dirt road in a field at night. As the group drives on, they see a group aligned in a formation at the end of the field. They say the figures look like they have heads. 
They conclude that they are people and urge the driver to turn around. If they are people, what are they doing at the edge of a forest at night? Well, some in the comments, like TikToker Chris Michael, think these are simply dual targets at an open range. Others require further proof. Neen writes, keep driving. I want to see from the safe distance of my phone. But since the cameraman wouldn't have that luxury, I'm not sure if he'd be willing to risk it all for us to find out what's really happening here. This Redditor was seeing shadows moving from room to room throughout his home. He wanted to capture the phenomenon on video, so he set up a security camera. This is what he found, posted to the ghost subreddit by GusBR89. The Redditor asks fellow Redditors to explain the following two surveillance videos. The first video shows a strange light anomaly coupled with a shadow distortion. The second video is taken that same evening and shows an orb float across the screen. Most assume the orb is dust, but others are curious about the shadow disturbing the first video. Redditor Cloudette says it looks like an intruder. Well, Yetin admits, it certainly looks like something, though no Redditor really has a clear answer as to what this exactly is. The Redditor says this is not the only paranormal experience he's had in the place. He's heard footsteps, a child's laughter, and even has a witness to one of these shadows passing directly in front of them. Well, all of this is upsetting. Many are more afraid of the doll, and nevertheless, this video appears to convincingly show something paranormal. It's not too often that you watch a video that completely scares you silly. Published to YouTube by RZ Flame in March of 2017, the uploader of our first clip believes what you're hearing is a ghost and what you'll soon see will prove it. The sounds are subtle at first. They don't even wake the lone man in the office who's sleeping on a chair in the corner of the room. Neither does the phone, which rings a couple times shortly after the noises start. He appears to wake slightly, but not enough to get up and answer the phone, and soon he's dozing again. When the phone rings yet again, he finally rises to answer it, before returning to his computer and getting back to work. That's when a chair in the opposite corner of the room spins full circle on its own. This catches the worker's attention briefly, but he shrugs it off and returns to his assignment. A moment later, a water bottle falls from the edge of a desk. At this point, the office worker stands up to gauge what's going on. That's when the poltergeist really has some fun, throwing a chair onto its back in the middle of the office. This activity seems to be the last straw. The man screams and races from the room. That's some good judgment on his part. A boy thinks he's caught a real ghost sighting. He's checking himself out on camera when suddenly a ghost face in the window moves towards him before disappearing back into the night. There's a lot of pixelation around the boy's head, which at first I thought was due to a cheap camera, but then I realized this is probably a green screen. If you look closely, the ghostly figure in the window is wearing a red shirt. That's similar to what he's wearing, so it's probably the same person. I think he recorded himself in the window and then superimposed it over this second video to make it seem like a genuine reaction to a real ghost sighting. It's pretty clever and almost fooled me until I took a second look. Friends explore a park in North Hollywood after hearing reports of a maniac approaching random people. Soon they grow bored and decide to try to test the visual range of their night vision camera for fun. He tells his friend to keep moving back until she is barely visible. It's on night vision. Okay. How's this? Uh, keep going. Soon she is little more than an outline of a black silhouette against the night sky. When she is a good distance away, something that's been watching them the entire time snatches her into the shadows. If this video is real, then whatever grabs her possesses impossible strength and speed. 
It picks her up off her feet like she weighs nothing at all, which makes me wonder how big this creature is and how it manages to move so fast without any sound. DJ Ashba has a YouTube channel full of videos regarding his music career, but one in particular is way different. This CCTV video captures some unexplainable activity in his private backyard. It all starts when a small white blip appears out of nowhere and flashes all the way across the patio. I want to add that this camera does not skip frames and that the light actually was moving this way in real time. Approximately 10 seconds later, the door opens completely by itself. The door was not slightly open before and it looks like a calm day with no wind. Coincidentally, the door that opens is also the same door that the white light appeared in moments prior. DJ Ashba checked the security camera after coming home to see his door open and this video leaves him with no easy answers. The best explanation I have after reviewing the evidence is that this was in fact paranormal, especially considering his other videos are not like this at all. What do you think? Sean Baker noticed this strange thing living in his backyard not too long ago, and now the situation has become too large for him to ignore any longer. Started out as a little white, regular mushroom, and now it's grown into something demonic. Whatever it is, one thing is for sure. The strange looking mass is able to withstand a lot of punishment. Dead. It's like it's bleeding. It oozes some sort of weird sludge in response to his attacks that I really hope is not toxic. Even with the help of a 2x4, Sean Baker is ultimately unable to bust the thing open or pry it loose from the earth. He curses the seemingly permanent growth in his backyard and ends the video in disgust. This almost certainly has to be some sort of rare fungus in my opinion, though I'm not sure what kind. But then again, maybe it really is from somewhere far away like Sean Baker seems to believe, perhaps even space. I'm hoping that together we can identify exactly what this thing is, and more importantly, how to get rid of it. This YouTube video posted by a user named Relly Kane doesn't have a source, but he claims it happened somewhere in Vermont. The creature looks a lot like the rake, except there appears to be two long and possibly razor sharp arms jutting ahead to support its weight as it moves. The legs look very small and unnatural at 14 seconds in, and at 42 seconds, you can see its arms are way too long to be a human. However, at the 55 second mark, it looks like it could possibly be someone in a costume, leaning on two walking sticks. So what do you make of this? You think winter roads are bad, and you've probably never ridden your bike here. This incident occurred in India in 2018. The uploader explains that it was his third day of riding from indoor to Pangong Lake, and he had just partnered with another rider who joined him on his solo trip. He writes that the pass was slippery that day and was loaded with trucks. The result is a close call his friend met with, which he caught on camera. The footage shows the pair of bikers on a narrow mountain road with nothing but a cliff edge and a 100 plus foot fall to their right. In front of them is a truck transporting heavy metal poles. As they follow quite closely behind this truck, it looks as though his friend is going to attempt to overtake the vehicle on the cliff side with little to no shoulder. But that attempt comes to a quick end when his heavy bike with all his belongings piled onto the back loses traction on the slushy ground. It falls on to its side dangerously near the cliff edge. If he'd been even a foot nearer the edge, he would have been a goner. As fate would have it, his life was spared that day, and his band of rights. Hopefully this teaches other riders to ride safe, live long. That's the sound of a door sensor. The only problem is this person in Singapore is the one remaining late night worker left in the office. He's too busy looking in the wrong direction to notice the door open, and an invisible force enters the room with him, no doubt paranormal from the looks of it. Just when he settles back down and gets into the work groove, another loud scary noise has him on edge again.
this time coming from within the manager's empty office, where the lights also turn on at the same time. I probably would have been gone by now, but he cautiously walks over to turn off the lights and check everything out. Big mistake. If this is real, then a ghost is caught on camera slamming the door while a chair moves by itself. If this is fake, then I guess someone could have been under the desk to push the chair out. However, unless that door has a string around the knob, then I have no idea how they were able to make it close. What do you think? A real paranormal moment on CCTV video or simply a fake ghost sighting? I'm siding with the paranormal on this one. Recently, I've come across some YouTube channels showcasing these images of what appears to be the Statue of Liberty, moving her hand slightly to the right. It took me a long time, but I finally found the original video and can verify beyond all reasonable doubt that this giant moving statue video is edited. It is from a 2006 upload called The Statue of Liability, made by a computer animator named RODC2006, who says in the description that it was made using a program called Blender 3D. So if you should ever happen to see these images somewhere online in the future, now you know it never happened and who originally made it. Props to RODC2006 for being so good at editing that he continues to fool people so many years later. Scary scratching from within the basement should alarm anyone. Some would call for help while others would grab their phone. Not for help, but to make sure whatever's down there is caught on camera. That's what two roommates do after one hears noises in a hidden crawl space of their home. It could have been anything though. Nah, I heard. I was scared, man. I heard noises. Why well, move this? Move this first. Scary cat, dude. It could have been rats or whatever. What about it? We got a whole bunch of rats. The one who hasn't heard the noises is brave. The one who has is scared. Are you going down there? I'm not. There's a light right there, dude. You go down there while I record. There's no way he's going down into the creepy basement crawl space after hearing eerie sounds, so his roommate volunteers to show him up. Like the light right there, the string. It's around here somewhere. Open the lights, okay? Hold up. Oh, I can't reach. Can't reach. I think I gotta step on that chair. There's a chair right here. Look. He squints in the darkness, and that's when he finds the scariest thing of his life. What a. One minute and 27 seconds is when I can barely make out a shadow figure straightening up to greet him. He's screaming and the video ends before we get to see if he escapes from the crawl space before it reaches him. The man sees a ghost hiding in his basement according to the title of this video, but I'm not so sure the supernatural is what he's caught on camera. Something scary is in his basement crawl space for sure, but think about it. Can't reach, I think I gotta step on that chair. There's a chair right here. Why would there be a chair positioned directly under his crawl space entrance? Unless somebody has been using it to climb into their home. I don't think this is a ghost haunting the basement. I think this is an insanely scary stranger encounter caught on video. Anyway, that's my analysis. But what do you make of this strange sighting? Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.